recording. Um, all right, and let's get going. I'm going to start the clock, and we'll start. Oh, I think I was supposed to start it slightly after, whatever. Three seconds lost. All right, and off we go. On. This mini boss is one of the most confusing things in uh, the game. It has health that you can take down, but there is literally no reason to do that, as once you get past here, he just goes friggin' away. Like, how would you do that? I know. It's dead. Go through there. Then Rune betrays us, and we move on with our lives. Time for one of the easiest opening bosses uh, the entire game. Did I put split mushroom at only five minutes or six? Because that's going to take way more freaking time than that. Uh, in all likelihood. All right. Slash his chest a bunch and he dies. There we go. I'm not sure if this is when I'm uh, supposed to make a split or whatever. I'll do it when I get back to base. part of the game. There's no way to skip this. This is one of my favorite themes, so. Oh, and I'm not dash canceling as you probably can already tell. These things do a lot of damage. No. Ironically, 
of the weapon that would have made it really easy to avoid damage there was split mushrooms. takes me to the next part, and this is where I'm going to get my first heart tank. When I first played the game, I thought you had to do this level twice to get the heart tank. I feel kind of stupid, you just have to time your wall jumps uh, properly and not get phased by the random shenanigans. And if you screw up, you can always kill yourself for another chance, so it's not even that big of a time sink. As long as you don't have, uh... Earth lives. Yep, there it is. That's our tank one. That's actually the only item on the stage, believe it or not. Something I would love to do, because typically I would do Web Spider first, but now I don't just because it uh full slower. Right as he would get to this point, I would use his attack and then cause a bunch of lag. Well, not lag, but hit stop. I'm probably not going to do it on my first live. He's lice, I'm not sure what that unicorn means. So much damage, ugh. And I was doing so well, gosh dang it, okay. Ugh. Unicorn, gotcha, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna get nine minutes on this, but I'm still doing better than I thought I would. which one it was for a moment. Yes, okay, that was close. Alright, split mushroom done. jump twice and also gives me a uh, slightly better air slash. I don't know why I saved, I don't need to. Well, I do if I'm going to return the title. Hold on, continue. Oh! Oh, 
That was weird. I didn't know it could do that. <laughs> Whatever. Thank what you're doing. Here we go. Just has a much more generous hitbox than. Uh... Oh, so, through there. Oh, thank you for the sub. That's also the only item in the stage two. One of them has three items and one of them has two. It, it's a little more balanced for X, just because he has, also has the armor to collect. The speedrunners won't actually do this, so they'll just sort of hop out of the mech and then fight Dragoon regularly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and oh, Krog. <laughs> You can fight him in the right armor right here. I've had runs where I've defeated him only using the right armor. This might be one of them. No, oh, we'll be close. And there it is. <laughs> Dragoon down. Save, because why not? Um, next on the list is Cyber Peacock. Now, there are two items in the stage, one energy tank and one um, heart tank. The way to get them is to go through these segments quick enough. Your dash. In. I don't think this one matters. I think this one's just life, but even if it's, uh, no, I still barely made it. Gets me alive. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, here's the thing PPI is a deeply biased organization, and the bias is unfortunately against you. I mean, it's a bias I personally support. Um,. I mean, we do accept bribes, just not from you. We do this part. Nope, got it. <laughs> oh, I'm in a lot more than the mob, my friend.
way to make those balls disappear. I don't care enough. This one I actually do have to escort. That way, pops that down, go through here. Overall, a pretty quick stage. Um, Cyber Peacock is um, very, very easy to kill with uh, the weakness. Playing too much of the Zero ZX games, I forgot that I gotta use the uh, special attack button for the Rising Slash. Obviously, they couldn't have it that way for the uh, Zero games. Ah, darn it. Zero doesn't have armor, so as a result, he takes a lot of damage. There we go. Cyber Peacock. Now on the Storm Owl. Our tank on this one is very, very, very easily accessible. Alright. And this is Zero's only available range attack. Um, I'm there, I'm going Storm Owl. Hey Shay, how's it going? Easiest uh, to obtain Arc Tank. Well, okay, maybe not the easiest. It's in, actually, I think it's a little slower with that sucker. Safer though. Let's do it. It is. Ow. <laughs> no! Oh, I was afraid I was gonna die. Should be able to. Oh, ah, darn it. Alright, first death. Yeah, I did see uh, Javon. Guess it wasn't spicy enough for him. Uh. The annoying thing is I was right there, um, that was an unfortunate time loss there. Yeah. Up there is where you get the armor, or the arm part for X's armor. I will say, one thing that, about this game that bums me out is it just reminds me how unbelievably good
good, um... What's it called? Oh no, Jet Singlies has two items too. Um, but how unbelievably good X5 and uh, X6 could have been if they had put in the same effort. Darn it. That's fine. Oh, come on, why didn't that connect? That still hits me. There we go. All right. Another down. That puts me ahead. And Jet Stingray. This one is going to be the most questionable. Storm Owls. Oh, actually, I forgot about the Colonel Intuition. Oh, I for no, I'm playing a zero. What am I thinking? Only X has to fight Colonel. Suck it, X. Okay, uh. <laughs> Jet Stingray. Here we go. I'm gonna have to do it eventually. Wait, I don't have Frost Wallace's... Oh. Should have fought that through. Should be fine, but regardless. There's one part where they bait you into jumping, and the only solution in terms of getting the heart tank is to not jump. There. Yes, there. Gosh dang it, okay. I kill myself. Okay. that. Here. Drop down. There we go. I do not like the stage. The second part requires a very well-timed dash. That was actually the boss that I just uh, smacked out of the sky. Um, Fight you a little bit beforehand. Come on! Alright, they baited me. You're supposed to do that at uh, another point. I'm just gonna... Here. After he shows up for the third time, I'm pretty sure. Not this time. It's here? Yes! I almost died. I have low health. Yes! Perfect! Alright! I'm good to go! <laughs> uh, next is Web Spider.
Oh, come on. I've never seen that attack before. There we go. Jet Stingray done. Um... Spider six minutes to complete the stage. There, that's where you get to X's light part. Now I have the air dash, so I don't have any weird interactions like I did before. Web Spider, this is one of the more irritating boss fights. Um, that said, I'm very much ahead of schedule for him. Just gotta finish fighting under three. this nonsense. Ah, oh, darn it. Seeing 
person's ability to... There we go, alright. Web Spider done! That gives me a lot more time for Slash Beast. Oh, to whoever joined. Okay. And Lance Frostball is safe for the. I guess it's so you can fill up the sub tanks. Is it? No, because you don't understand typically use a. I don't know. Jackass just throws a grenade and boom. Alright, and then the mini boss here. There we go. This is the station we go. heart tank, meaning that there's only one more heart tank. The train comes to a halt. You know, I will say, the guys coming rushing from behind you, much as I love the game, that was bad design. There's no way you would have seen those coming. Up on this train, and then we have Mr. Slash Beast himself. No, we don't. And I think that was the end of the level. There's all these boss doors. There's not boss doors, that's why. Okay, whatever. <sighs> Hold the fast one on me. This guy's weapon is easily the worst in the game. Take another hit, I think I'll just use a sub tank. If I die, that's a game over. Come on. Yeah, let's save. Oh, 
Yeah, that would have been dead, so I'm glad I did that. Oh shoot, I had no idea! Whoa! Once you get Storm Owl's weapon, you can deflect that thing? Holy crap! I didn't know that! Also, it is the biggest travesty that you don't get that as a attack you can do as zero. That is just a complete shame. Alright. Frost Walrus, here we go. Alright. No Blizzard Buffalo for those of you who played XE. Slightly slower path. I don't care for the simple reason of... I need to, uh, fill up on my tanks. And I gotta go back here for the sub-tank. Sub-tank, our tank. Last of its kind, and we have our full bar of health. So I only need two more items to make this a 100% run. It is in this first section here. With X, you use Web Spider's weapon to get it. With zero, you just double jump. that does is once you get a game over, you uh, get four lives back instead of two. Oh. Let's see, I'm here. That chill penguin? About Blizzard Buffalo, I don't know about chill penguin. say whoever invented ice physics and platformers, that person is going to the bad place. It's just never fun. Alright, 100% of the items collected, now I just gotta beat the game. In fact, if you off-screen those guys, they can't freeze a stage. Darn. Not like that. Weakness uh, gives him more invincibility, so... Using regular rolling slashes, for the most part.
There we go. Frost baller is done. Colonel, huh? Colonel's always pain in the rear end. At least it's not the general, am I right? Ugh. I hate that fight. Right? Iris is sad because I'm gonna have to kill her brother because he's kind of a warmong warmonger that's led to this entire thing happening. Well, not him, but his uh, organization. Global Force was waiting for some attacks and signals behind. And they decided, you know, screw it, war on humans. Something like that. It's been a while since I've actually played through this game's story. You get more of the overarching plot as X, but you get more of the, um, more character development as Zero. What was the attack I got from Slash Beast, by the way? That little, uh, Dashing strike there. All right. So the thing with Colonel is that he, he takes forever to kill. Show me what you've got. And you have to fight him twice as X. I needed those for general. Darn it! Screw you! Come over here! Die! I can be pretty reckless now. Alright, Colonel's down. Now Iris, who... Iris herself is not as... So... Once you sort of get a feel for her fight, um, it's really not that hard. Um, the issue is simply that um, there's just a lot of crap flying around, so it's easy to get... Um, Overwhelmed by everything. But Zero has a lot, and I mean a lot of different moves to deal with it. This jumping Slash in particular is quite powerful. know what that orb is. But it it's sort of that ride armor and then yeah, me, right brother. here. Cutscene plays. Um, if you haven't seen this cutscene, Google what am I fighting for, and it should be the first thing that shows up. Uh, 
X fights double instead of Iris. Um, yeah, those are the only rare exclusive boss fights, unless you count the first fight with Colonel, which I don't. Necessarily need to take this route, but I guess we're doing this. Right, this stupid leap leap of faith there. Um, actually really bad design, that's... Mm, surprise, that's my first time noticing that. I guess because I usually use the right armor and aren't in a hurry. Oh, I forgot to tap the thing for Iris, whatever. Ugh, I gave a lot of time for General because this fight one can go downhill pretty quickly because he does a lot of damage. As well as he's just a pain in the ass to actually damage. Three hits in. Come on, uh Yeah, I don't have the option of using a sub tank even. Shooting the punches. Ugh. Come on, come on. Destiny to fight. Come on. Better when he flies across the room, as then you can sort of slash him as you're moving across. Zipbox can be a little unclear. Careful. Ah, freaking jets from the okay. Play it very safe, because I don't want to die. That almost hit me. I will say, the General was kind of built with Mega Man X5's production qualities. It's just kind of him floating around. In any case, he is done and I am very glad. <laughs> and we have the boss rush. Everyone's favorite part of Mega Man. Oh. 
Okay. I'll say the boss rush in the X Games is generally better than the classic. Because in the classic, it is just the same fight again. In the X Games, you actually have more abilities to fight with them with. So one, they go quicker, and it gives you a sense of, hey, I'm stronger now. One of the people in the boss rush. Um, or all right. this fight's actually probably going to go faster than it was the first time, even though I don't have the right armor. As Dragoon, he seems to have less invincibility frames, or at least m more. Potential combo potential? It's worth using the electric attack. I love how he's literally just saying Hadouken. There we go. should be done with the boss rush before the one hour mark at this pace. Gave myself a lot more time for the uh, later sections. Um, it's showing and I'll definitely need to adjust that. Fight's pretty much the same. Careful here. I'm about to die. There we go. Okay, that was close. Uh, might need to go cheese for this guy. Oh, 
Oh. Darn it! Aw, oh, frickin' heck. I had a hunch that might be unsafe, but I thought I'd be alright. Ugh. time loss error. That is one of the more time intensive boss fights as well, so yeah, not great. Moving on sub tanks. Yeah, one full, that should be Sigma does do a lot of damage though. Hello to whoever popped in. That is Frost Walrus. Oh, no Split Mushroom. This one's gonna be so much easier. Oh yeah, in X5, you cannot use a Jumping Slash against Grizzly Slash in the Lee fight, because it's using his quote, own weapon against him. That's so stupid. And there he goes.
I will say, if all these Mavericks just came back, and they do this on a regular basis, X and Zero are not very good Maverick Hunters. I'm just saying. Oh, and that's Boss Rush. Boop. It's gonna play a little cutscene of Zero and Sigma fighting. Though Sigma is very clearly the superior, uh, or sorry, he's, Zero is clearly the superior machine. But of course, both X and Zero have gotten more powerful since then. Oh, sorry, Zero and Sigma. Zero rebuilt with a Beam Saber. Sigma powered up by the Zero Virus transformed into Sigma Virus. Attacks he'll do, sort of throw it. Well, I guess three, but I'm going to be manipulating him, so I'll use it to. You gotta actually hug the wall, so I'll do the attack. There we go. Phase 1, 2 done, no damage. Shoot, this should be sub 110 if I don't screw this up. You know, I'm actually going to leave that there because it'll... It won't restore anything. Makes more sense to, uh... Wait. You don't know if it's gonna push towards you or against you. Now I can it. Bad. With this attack pattern, I should be able to most of its health. Yeah. Okay, one more hit, then I'll use the sub-tank. The devil. There we go. Yes! Boom! Final Sigma. A little more. He blows up. I won't stop the timer till it hits good. It's just to make sure that I'm not any full early. Sacrifices himself to uh, 
stop the weapon from destroying Earth or something like that. All right, 10708. That is a new personal best for me, um, and it beat sort of my target by almost 13 minutes. And it's a new personal best by. Let's see. So I shaved off nine minutes. Some obvious things that could have been done better. Eight, and that is all she wrote. Ooh, that feels good. <laughs> Let me. Ba, 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 ba. 